Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about colors in Titan, uh, in the Titan program, and how to build them, and where you can save them, and uh, just just go through a few different things you might have to do with the different fixtures. So, on your Titan program, we're going to use the Chavez Maverick MK Pixis that we've been using in a few other videos, and I'm just going to do them all as a group at the moment. And what you're going to see when you when you click on them, the first thing in version 11 and 11.1, .1, you're going to see on your attribute editor is this nice little screen here, where it it brings up some different options for uh, mixing color with with hue and saturation, that kind of thing, some some RGB mixing and some CMY mixing. This is for any this will be available for any fixture that can color mix but what but it's gonna work better if you work based off of what your fixture actually has so if you have an RGB fixture it's a little bit better to work off of that than your CMY even though it will still do it it's just gonna be a little different and you have this nice little color pick picker here that you can go through and you can see it'll change all the faders over there to kind of whatever whatever you have going on we're gonna get it back kinda of close to white and uh... that's just a little bit about that one you've got this nice little color picker over here where if we bring our Mavericks up it'll you can just change some colors around there to kind of wherever you want you can change the the intensity of it there the actual opacity of the color you have your channel which it will which will actually outline what your fixture has as as well as that same little color picker we had on the first screen and it does kind of the same same kind of thing you can move these faders up and down as well here too to get whatever color you want Say I want a magenta with no white in it, and that's that's kind of as close as it's gonna get to that. Then one of the cool things they've introduced in version 11 is these nice little color pickers here that are actually based on filters of uh, of actual gels and that kind of thing. You've got you got a bunch of Lee filters if you're familiar with those, Roscoe Lux, and Gam Color. And you can see you can go through, and it's got different different uh, filters based on based on those gels that this light will produce closest to its ability. So if we want kind of a kind of a skin color, we can go to Roscoe two, and it's gonna try, and you can pick through and find one that that works well for you. And again, if you want to adjust that, fine tune it. You can go in here and do that if you if you'd like. So when you're recording a color, you can record it to anywhere you can record anything on a console. So if you have it on if you want to put it put it on your executor buttons, if you want to put it on a fader, you can do that. They've given you a nice little color palette window you can see here. It has a few different options. If you've got a second screen hooked up, you can you can do everything you would normally do with any kind of window. You can resize it, all that, all that good stuff. But when you want to record a color, again, we'll we'll just go into this this screen here. We'll just go to a full red. Make sure it's full on this slider here, and we're gonna go in this. And for this fixture, just because they're a little special, I'm gonna show this as Maverick beam red and as I do this I'm gonna go through 
my color attribute editor down here and kind of look through and just make sure everything's kind of how I want it to do. And you can see you're going to get a few other options up here that we'll go into in a moment for uh, for color color picking. But if you're just mixing a color, you just kind of want it to be based on based on what's correct in your mind for that. So yeah, that looks like the attributes I actually want to be recorded are recorded correctly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. And I'm just gonna record a color palette. And you can see now my color is is there as I've saved it. We're gonna clear back out and we'll get back into these guys. So the other way you can choose color with 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 different fixtures is you'll have you'll often have with fixtures with color wheels. We'll say it that way. You'll have a screen that pops up like this and it'll you can go through and on some you you'll have a fader we'll go to the blue cyan you'll see you can click and drag it and kind of change from blue to cyan and it'll mix mix to that as best it can in the beam at the moment and for this fixture you've also got a ring color where you can do kind of the same thing it's got a few different few different color temperatures of white that kind of thing and you've also got some some different color options at the bottom it can index through some it can color fade here sometimes this color fade might be on a different window just depending on if you've built your profile if if it's an Avalites profile that's built if it just works better in another section of the attribute editor sometimes it might be under somewhere over here in effect or in special just depending on what you kind of how you do things but for this case we'll uh, we'll just go through and we'll record we'll say blue on the beam for this fixture this color here corresponds to the beam portion of the light and the ring color corresponds to the ring of the light that's on the outside. So now I've got blue and yellow selected for for this fixture. I'm going to go in. I, mean, I can do the same thing. I can say Maverick blue slash yellow. And you can see if you do if you type that in which which I will do often with these you can type it in legend there you can give yourself a picture if you want to find the color that matches up in this case we we can just do a, a little bit of a blue and a little bit of a yellow and you can give yourself that if you want to do it that way you can we can draw out the light if we want to do that changing some things the middle is blue change that down the outside is yellow we're just gonna make a little kind of sun shape there to show me that the the outside the inside of the light is blue where the beam is and the outside is yellow so we'll press enter there and you can see I did record it as a legend if I wanted it to be more what of what what I had before I can go back in and I can type maverick beam yellow or maverick blue yellow back in here I can change the picture again I can change the halo and change the outside of of the palette to blue you can kinda of see it there it's not not super noticeable we'll change it to where it's a little bit easier to see some color that's a little bit more noticeable there we go you can see you can do that there and you can do that with any any palette uh, palette or fixture group that kind of thing so with these with these particular fixtures they're a little a little kind of weird they are pixel mappable and what they've done what Chave has done with this fixture is they've built it to where 
Shave and Avalides, I should say, uh, on the on their personality, they built it to where this color mix, this whole window kind of respond uh, corresponds to the beam and all that it all the colors that it can do, and you can go back in to this window, and you can see that you can you have ring red, green, blue, and white. And you have some masters that we'll leave down for now. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll go through and they'll change the ring color to whatever you want. If you just want it to be that kind of color right there. You can save that in here. And you'll notice that with our first one I said beam red. And I did that for a reason. And you'll also want to make sure if you're if you're color mixing with these that you have all of your color wheel options to open. So we'll go back in here and we'll say, all right, our ring is green, white, and we'll leave it as that and we'll clear back out and we're gonna go through I'm gonna go through and make a couple of other colors real quick just to kind of give us some some changing options blue And the reason I do it this way is because there are, these fixtures have a cool effect when you when you put them through some haze to where it's almost a, it's almost as if you have two lights or if you have a two tone type color going on from one single fixture and you can zoom them in and out and kind of play around with that and it looks kind of cool but what this if I just record them like this the problem becomes that whatever other options I had going on in my color mixing at the time with whichever one I'm not working with will also be saved to this this specific palette so what I'll do for that is I'll go on my console and I'll press open slash view and I'll go back in we'll start with Maverick Beam Red and because I'm going to have to kind of keep up with myself here, I'm just going to show color attributes just in case it's just showing some other stuff. So you'll see I have my color wheel options are all open. And I've got some information recorded over here under ring, under the ring color mixing options, which is not really what I want for this specific palette. So I'll go through and I'll kind of click and drag across all of them and I'll press off you can also do this by going through and pressing each individual attribute and doing it that way you can see you can you can click all all through all of them but I find it easiest just to click and drag so now we've got all my ring attributes turned off and all of the beam attributes the gen general RGBW are still on and we'll have to go through and do that with each of these color palettes real quick so this is ring green and white I want to turn those off I'm just gonna jump through this real quick this is beam blue so we're gonna turn that off And this is ring cyan, so we're going to turn the RGBW off. So now I should be able to go through and change colors as I need to to whatever I want them to be. So we can see I've got red and that greenish white color. I can change it, change the ring to cyan. And change the beam to blue and have my greenish white color and that's just some different options and we can always go back here 
and click this one and we've got our blue and yellow back and as long as we click one of these it'll kind of go back to something we can work with color mixing wise you can do a little bit of this we'll have another video on uh, on cells as well but you can see if I click on this window and make this attribute editor full screen I can go through and I can record individual colors to individual things I'm gonna make those all red I'm gonna make the beam just blue I'm gonna make the rest of these green just make sure I did that right there we go going back to this window and I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these just to make sure that this works correctly yep and I can save this as Maverick cell multicolor and if you have a fixture that has different cells you can you can do that with your colors and and save yourself some colors going around to different things and you can still get back to your your other colors as well and it'll just fade into that that nice little color mix we did based on cells and pixelation but that's a little bit about how to record colors and how to record colors with some different fixtures uh, that have different options as far as cells and pixelation and that kind of thing um, and how to kind of use the color window and color palettes to your advantage um, if you need anything else go ahead and give us a call and thanks for watching our videos